My name is Luis Bravo, I'm from Montevideo, Uruguay, South America. I'm a poet, basically, but I do a lot of things too. I, I became, with the, with the time, I became a, a, an essayist. essayist? I, I used to work a lot in critic, in journalism. I work in journalism. Uh, print journalist and uh, radio too for many years. I'm a professor too. I teach in a private university and in, in the public uh, education third level uh, institution to teach future professors or future teachers. Um, and last, for, for the last 10 years, I've been doing a lot of research. So I'm working n right now in the main library of Montevideo as a researcher, too. Being a writer or a poet, uh, it's just uh, uh, a destiny. I, I don't think it's, it's a job. I got it as a job because, uh, as I tell you, I, I work in education and I work in journalism. But the thing uh, that I, I like of this uh, work I do as a poet and as a performer is that I had to construct myself in a society that has many, many poets like Uruguayan and a very good tradition, but I think it doesn't care much about them. So I work a lot to show our own society how important it is to have so many good poets uh, like our tradition has. That's why I, I research a lot about Uruguayan poetry. For the last 20 years I've been working on that and my last book came uh, as a result of that. Uruguay is a melting pot. It's a, we, we used to say a cosmopolitan society. And uh, we had in the first um, 20 years, 30 years of the 20th century, a uh, very developed conception of human rights, labor, labor um, laws, and uh, a very strong democratic system, political system. That was the best thing to have a society with a very strong value in culture, politics, uh, in, in thinking about how to, you know, how to get to a better society, and uh, a very integrating society. That's a, that makes a difference with many other countries of South America. A strong middle class, 
that article, the integration, that was until 60s. In the 60s, everything will begin to change. And the last 40 years, I think we, we have a, a crisis, a very important crisis, but that structure we have, uh, I think was very important to manage that crisis. The crisis goes through mentality too. And uh, right now, <clears throat> I think we, we, we have, for the first time, we have, we have two governments, governments uh, from the left party, Frente Amplio, and w we, we came back to r reinforce uh, the distribution of the, uh, I don't know, enrichment, as you say it in English. Uh, coming to Iowa City was a surprise um, because I didn't know that you have here uh, like a science fiction city. Uh, it's like a literary science fiction city. Uh, I call it Extranquia right now because it's a small city where Everybody is uh, thinking about literature or art or film art or theater or different arts. Great place to write here. We don't have much time to do it, but it's a great place to write because it's, you know, you have nature, all trees. I love trees, I love green. Uh, you have the river, you have quiet. Uh, enough silence to think so I'm, I'm very thankful to be here yes I, I read fiction <clears throat> because I have to teach <laughs> but I mainly read poetry and philosophy that's what I like to read or non-fiction I, I prefer biographies and essays, you know, articles and poetry a lot. Uh, I, I like short stories too, better than novel. I think novel is in the last place what I want to read. I think um, culture, not, all, not only literature or writers needs a uh, politic from the government some intelligent support uh, but we don't need uh, restrictions we have different models you know like socialists do or did like American does or South American countries that mostly don't support culture much. They have, we have a um, mistake. We separate too much education from art, from culture. And, uh, you know, it's all the same tissue. We have um, a very close relationship with Argentina. We share many customs, many, you don't say customs, uh, like our folklore, our habits, you know, uh, we are just the same. Uh, as a, a musician used to say, I mean, you are the same, but I'm plug. <laughs> You're why I'm the same that Argentina, but I'm plug. It was a musician joke. Um, 
the relationship with Brazil is different because the language, um, you know, Brazil is a huge culture with many different cultures inside. Um, <clears throat> we don't have much contact as some of us would like to have because some of us are really, we admire Brazil culture. Then we have the Mercosur, it was a regional market that supposed to integrate Paraguay, Brazil, Argentina and Chile for the last 25 years, but it didn't develop as we expect. Then we have all the economy uh, issue that uh, you know that's uh, a different thing because we we depend a lot from our commercial bonds from Argentina and Brazil when I was about 15 16 I, I was musician uh, that's my first vocation then I start to read poetry in those years and um, discover a new world uh, in those times uh, I remember to read Shakespeare in one summer and I think that was you know the main thing I uh, have, I didn't understand Shakespeare when I was 16, you know, but uh, I, I got into poetry from that point. And then uh, I got very close from surrealistic uh, lines from French surrealistic lines, but uh, we have the, this military dictatorship, so that changed a lot, my orientation in poetry. So I started to read some sort of social poetry, because we need to know what was going on and we need to fight for our you know rights or freedom so i i began to understand more <clears throat> that it's not only an uh, aesthetic thing or a spiritual or mind thing uh, but it's, it's also a social thing so after that i became a teacher or a professor on literature so I I start to uh, study a lot the avant-garde from Europe to South America and the avant-garde from South America like you know Vicente Guidoro uh, Oliverio Girondo uh, those are parts that really uh, make you know, uh, I don't know how to say a landmark or whatever in my formation. For the last years, I just uh, went through um, uh, in the in, in staging of the voice. What I what I'm saying, the staging of the voice, and. I discovered that when I was young too, so, you know, just listen to Jim Morrison or, you know, later like Laurie Anderson or, or discovering how important was the beat generation. Mm, so what I do is a synthesis of many, many things just to get into my voice. So, it's a bad synthesis, but it's like that.
I think our students have to know more about our own tradition and the links of this tradition of this tradition with Europe or with America or with other countries in South America. That thing is, is the main thing here uh, now because I think we, we have to study more our own culture, literature, tradition and from that just to discover the links in the universal uh, literature and the, the system now is old, it's like a French one, we go to the universal and never get to the local. I think Shakespeare is, is uh, one of my important reference in my youth, but um, I think Fernando Pessoa, the Portuguese poet, has been a very important reference because he's, you know, he's not only one poet, he's like five poets at the same time. So I found with Fernando Pessoa that the different styles I, I, I have and I didn't know how, why I have so many different voices. Mm, I, I discovered that that could be possible with Fernando Pessoa, so he's a master for me. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Vicente Huidobro is our Latin American first avant-garde poet. I think he's a great voice. I like how he opened the field to visual poetry, to sound poetry, uh, and to poetry. Just, you know. So, um, as I work a lot in, in, in all these fields at the same time, um, the others thing of staging of the voice comes from the American culture and uh, I, 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 I think Jim Morrison and the Doors or uh, many other poets that you have in English just on the music thing like Leonard Cohen or Laurie Anderson, they are main refer reference for me. The origin of all my work is in the poem. It can the poem can come from a sound, it's okay, but it's the poem. And I'm not a multimedia artist. Uh, I work with extraordinary multimedia artists that they 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 come to my projects, or I invite them to work with me. So, um, what I do is the staging of the voice and I can do it just by myself with the voice and then start with musicians. You know, uh, I, I am very fond of work with musicians and I have the fortune to uh, have many good friends, they are great musicians. So, we work a lot together 